President Trump's ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, has resigned. Remember, Nikki Haley was the former governor of South Carolina. Uh, she has been in the Trump administration since the beginning. He just participated. She just participated with President Trump at the U.N. General Assembly. Our Eamon Javers joins us from Washington with more on what we know about this story, Eamon. Yes, yeah, Sarah, I can tell you that I just saw Nikki Haley in the West Wing. She was heading toward the Oval Office with a number of staffers. She declined to respond to questions from reporters uh, who were standing with me uh, asking her whether or not she has resigned. So uh, she's uh, not talking to the press just yet. But you, as you say, uh, we do have this announcement from Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the White House press secretary, that Nikki Haley and the president will be participating in, a, in an event uh, at the White House at 10.30. Sarah Sanders tweeting out, President Trump and Ambassador Nikki Haley will meet in the Oval Office at 10.30 a.m. this morning. This event will be open to the pool. So some immediate questions will come into play here, which is why is Nikki Haley resigning? Uh, what other opportunity may she be considering? Uh, presumably, uh, if Haley is resigning at an event with the president uh, at the o in the Oval Office, then that is uh, a friendly resignation, not something forced, as we've seen so often in this administration. But the question is, uh, why now? Uh, what's going on, if anything, behind the scenes? And what does Nikki Haley have planned as a next act? She's been widely uh, regarded inside Republican politics as somebody who had a significant political future ahead of her, perhaps even presidential ambitions. So we'll wait and see uh, what Nikki Haley has to say, if anything, uh, in this event in just about 15 minutes' time. Back over to you guys. Uh, I I mean, I guess one question, as you say, is, is why now? The other question is when exactly this would take effect. Uh, I, I imagine no inclination on that answer yet either. No, in fact, White House aides were scrambling behind closed doors uh, when I was up in the West Wing just a few moments ago. Uh, they said they were going to be putting out a statement uh, very shortly. We got that statement from Sarah Sanders, uh, but what we don't have is any context, timing, or detail as to uh, what exactly has prompted this. Uh, officials uh, are suggesting to us that they'll put out more detail here in a few minutes, but uh, we have nothing yet. So this one catching everybody in Washington by surprise, particularly after the U.N. General Assembly uh, last week, which was seen by many here at the White House as a, a significant success for the administration. Nikki Haley very much publicly the face of the administration on the world stage uh, and now uh, apparently resigning uh, as ambassador to the United Nations. Did, did she have any clashes with the president on policy? Can't think of anything major uh, no, like the, we saw with, with other members of the team, like former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. She, right. She had the clashes with Rex Tillerson in terms of who was going to be the face of this administration to the world uh, and who sort of represented the purest strain of, of Trumpism uh, in Washington and in New York. Uh, so there was uh, some political rivalry, perhaps, as to who was the senior figure uh, inside the administration, but uh, nothing that I can point to specifically on policy. But uh, we'll, let's take a deeper dive here, guys.